Hi, Mary here from New York today, and I just wanted to um, let you in on a little um, thing that I've been looking at, and it's called uh, energy work um, called Qigong. And the reason I'm sharing it with you is because recently I went to um, my chiropractor, who I love and adore, he's a great guy. He helped me through a ruptured disc um, over seven years ago and was very gentle and everything's working great and I healed over a three month period when he said it probably be six months to a year and actually uh, in a month after I was flat on my back um, in, in a lot of pain, pain that whole month I uh, was able to start to walk and drive myself to the chiropractor and all that so every once in a while we get setbacks in our in our physical health um, I'm pretty healthy I haven't gotten sick sick colds things like that flus I don't get that uh, but this ruptured disc was something that threw me for a loop uh, at that time. And it kind of um, kind of semi-came back recently when I was actually doing great and decided to go back for maintenance and maybe once a month go to my chiropractor and make sure I'm limber and flexible. And when I went, I literally, uh, one side of me just got very overly adjusted and the other side wouldn't budge. And it didn't feel right. I felt imbalanced and I was concerned and I asked him and... Um, he just said, wait, and let's see. He didn't um, think, think to or tell me that he couldn't readjust me or whatever they do. Chiropractors have their own rules. And I was just hoping that he would make sure everything was okay because as I left, every day progressively got worse. And I was in more pain. And it started to feel like that disc thing when I used to get in the center of my spinal cord that's shooting out a sciatic kind of pain out my hip. And it got so bad every day that... I couldn't sit for longer than five minutes, couldn't stand, couldn't lie down. No matter what I did, breaking up that, those different positions still would not get better and be relieved. So I went back to him after four days and I noticed that it was kind of like off even in my, my uh, hips were off and I didn't know what that meant. But he actually said I was half an inch off in my, my legs because I felt there was something wrong. And so he adjusted that, he readjusted it, and then when I left, I was feeling a lot better because it was now a little bit more even, but I still occasionally had that um, energy thing. So I was thinking about the Qigong because I do energy work and I'm starting to feel energy and I really have a strong um, knowing now, it's not even a belief, that we personally can heal ourselves with our own energy because energy is flowing. We're energy beings in a physical body and our physical body can be balanced by our own energy and Qigong is a very 5,000 year old ancient uh, energy work of the Chinese and the interesting thing is um, this man that I just came across on on an email uh, through a vision who does the Mind Valley you know the, um, the the tapes and some very great programs he um, I'm on his mailing list, so I get a lot of his information. And I do buy programs as they come up, and they fit what I'm looking for, or they fit something that I choose. And I really, interest perked up on this one, because Ali Holden has been working on public TV now, and he's traveled to Asia um, 20 years ago and, and studied Qigong, uh, Tai Chi, and the other ancient arts of healing. And he came up with Qigong was... The, the primo of all of them and he modernized it so we can do a couple of things in a few minutes a day and keep our energy going um, I don't have an issue with energy um, some people do <laughs> I don't drink my coffee to stay up I have energy I drink my coffee because I like coffee um, however when you're in pain and you know that there's something that you can do to help yourself that's like phenomenal off the charts so my interest peaked and I saw three uh, short exercises that we could all do. So I was going to share you, share with you a, a couple of them and then I'm actually going to get off here and going to go purchase the program because I think it's going to be very valuable and I could share more and possibly share this with other people that are in pain a lot. I hate to see people in pain when we don't have to be in pain. I don't like to be in pain. And I kind of digressed in that pain and I said, no, no, no. I don't do doctors. I don't do sick. So why would I do physical pain it just doesn't make sense to me anymore because I know our thoughts are very powerful I think myself uh, very balanced and when something throws you off for a loop you have to say okay your body needs attention um, it's been overstressed in something might be relating to stress but let's do everything we can to write it so one of the things was which I really thought was fun is feeling the energy in your hands and one way to do this is to just rub your hands together vigorously 
for like a minute. I'll just rub it as fast as you can. And most people really don't feel their energy, so this is a great way to feel it and be in tune to it. I feel it, so this is just heightening it and revving it up. It's giving a little bit more sensation. And then, wow. <laughs> You just feel the energy vibrating through your hands. Now, if we weren't energy beings, you wouldn't feel that. So we have an energy, a heart center uh, area, he said, right here in the center of the palm, which is really cool. And then the other one is you take your hands like this, where you're rubbing the first line of knuckles together and your fingertips, and you rub that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and make a vibration of that with um, energy back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's a way to rev your energy up in your hands. You do that for 30 seconds to a minute, two, and you you can feel the energy, the healing energy in your own hands. So that was the first one. And I'm just going to look here, and then you bring your hands down to your side and shake your lower arms and wrists like an athlete. You know how you see them before a game? Many people watch sports and so they go like this and they're, they're, they're like dancing around. They do this with their hands. Well, you just stand there and shake your hands and circulate your arms and it goes into your fingertips like hanging down. And you do that for about 30 seconds to a minute. And these aren't long things. And you can feel the energy just moving. You just feel it. So that's like a, 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 an AM. Uh, meditation, those three things, uh, your palms, uh, your, your knuckles areas, hands down to your side and shake, and then completely relax with your hands by your side, feel the energy circling down your arms and into your fingertips. And that was like the three basic um, things of feeling your energy. And he has a whole meditation um, DVD that you watch and do simple exercises. And he's modernized it, they generally take like five minutes a day. If you don't have five minutes a day for your own health, wow, you better check in what you're doing because that's part of um, self-love and self-care, which is very important. And he's fitted into the modern you know, day living because we all are racing around, never have time to stop and smell the roses. However, if you stop long enough to, I meditate every morning for about an hour, do a couple of different types of meditations, and then I get out of bed after I do some stretching. Some people do the yoga, but now I'm going to incorporate the qigong with that and going to use the heat and energy from my hands and put it on that lower back area and focus my attention and then see what he says about how he heals his own body. So he had a lower back problem as well from a uh, soccer accident um, when he was younger and use my own energy to heal myself. So I thought it'd be something nice to pass on to everyone because you just really need to know that we are more than what we think we are. And that's the fun thing about life. We're always growing and finding out <laughs> different things every day. And this is huge because science is even finding out that we have so much energy around us. We're electrical beings and all this stuff. That's why our computers sometimes work funny. Watches don't work on certain people. So it's, it's quite interesting. So I hope you enjoy um, enjoyed this. And you too can uh, go to Mind Valley. I think it's mindvalley.com and look at uh, Vision's um, very powerful programs that he, they only take on people's programs that will help the awareness and help the balance um, and the peace and the love in the world. So I really uh, support them very nicely because I, I like what they're about and because I'm about the same thing. I'm on more than one one they're on, you know, bigger arena here. So um, I love this blogging platform. I'm using with the Power Network. Uh, it's helping empower people to share with others, to speak their truth, and to help people in a very subtle way of relating uh, to someone who may have the same issue. If you have some body issues and you know how to rev up your energy with your own hands, uh, you can use that energy to focus on the circulation in that part of your body and heal yourself. How is it getting better than that? And like, what else is possible? So I leave you with that. Have an awesome uh, night. I had an awesome day today. In fact, I had my Bars Energy Exchange Day with a dear friend. And awesome's a choice. So you choose. Enjoy. Good night.